how to establish communication between a python script and postgresql database i will be showing that communication through three different steps since we now live in the world of cloud environments in a step number one i would be procuring a cloud ec2 instance where i would be installing postgres sql database in another ec2 instance i will be installing python setup and i will be establishing communication between them using a simple python script this is pretty much i'm, I'm going to do I have a client here. I have a server here. So on the client side, I just use a .py Python script and I will talk to this database server. Let's go step by step. So let me spin off a new EC2 instance. I will be sharing these running notes as part of my note section. You will find a link using which you can uh, simply download. In a step number one, we are doing a database setup quickly. I would blindly follow the steps mentioned here. Let me first spin off an ECT instance. The EC2 instance that I will be procuring now is RHL8 under free tier option. Uh, please understand the objective of this session is not to help you understand how to procure a EC2 instance that is covered as part of uh, previous recordings. I would be using an existing security group I already have. And I'm using the existing uh, key pair, which I already have a private key on my laptop. Okay, the instance is getting launched. So let me procure another instance for application server This is how I, I want to say, uh, differentiate if I have more than one server. This is my DV server. This is the app server where I'm going to set up Python 3. Since my DB server is in a running state, let me log into the DB server. Let me take this public IP. My private key is here.
if you already have an environment RHL environment or any Linux environment you can ignore all these steps so then you can directly start with Postgres SQL database server setup but before I use this command let me show you the version we got so we got version 8 here uh, dnf is a next level command for m y u m yeah i need to run this as a root Here through this step, I am initializing the database cluster. I am opening these two VI files. This will help me to enable my local host if I search for it. There is a detailed recording on this. Uh, in, in, in my one of my previous recordings, so I'm I'm going little uh, faster here. I'm enabling this listen address to star, and I'm uncommenting this so that it it listens for any incoming connections from any IP address. And also, I'm adding one line to HPA dot file host based access control. so let me enable the service and start the service it's fake Me log into this file see if I created any mess here listen addresses is fine yeah here I did not give this correctly I placed one extra dot okay that's why the start is failing but let me start now it should be successful you see it is successful now now let me switch to postgres postgres user id will be created as part of the previous commands now i'm connecting to psql i'm changing the postgres user password Now I'm creating a database here. This database will try to connect it from Python script. I have here testdb1 created. If I connect to testdb1, if I display tables, there are there are no tables here. Through Python script, we'll connect to this database and we will create a new table. If you see, uh, 5432 port is uh, listening for all incoming connections that actually concludes step number one but let me make a note of these details here because these are the five basic parameters you need 
to connect to any database server so this is the host name test all are same 5432 test db1 database postgres username and password now step number one is complete now let me move to the step number two launching a client ec2 server now we already launched here the app server is up and running now let me make a connection to this app server ec2 user is the default user so the respective authentication keys are within this ppk file i'm not going to change colors for this just to differentiate so this uh, back, black background is an app server now we are able to successfully log into the app server now let's proceed with the next steps sudo to root if i say cat etc red hat iphone release the default one i got is red hat linux 8 if i say which python which python 3 you won't have any python installed by default because from rhl 8 onwards it is left to the user to install whether python 3 or python 2 because those two are two different code streams right now let me install python 3 like i said um, dnf is next level of m command now if i say which python 3 i could see this here let me create a symbolic link so that when i say which python that will point to python 3 so let me use this pip3 to install to install the psycho pz2 PostgreSQL database adapter. What is this Psycho PZ2? This is the most popular PostgreSQL database adapter for Python programming languages. Because when you look at this Python script, if we are talking to a PostgreSQL database, we need to import this library. So let me create a user using this user we will establish the connection let me change the password i'm giving it to a default password and now i'm switching it to a that user that i've just created now let me create this python script So instead of the host name here, let me put the host name that we collected here. Because this is where our database server is running. Now if I explain this, we are importing necessary packages. And this is a SQL I want to run that is creating table tab one with one column here i'm establishing a connection with postgres database using the package that we imported you know this this has that respect to uh, instructions to connect to the specific database maybe you can think it of as a driver right if you want to talk to a postgres sql database it's kind of a driver if there are any issues it will throw the error 
then we are using this standard logic to talk to database to execute a specific SQL. Okay, once everything is done, it just closes that connection. Now let me copy this and put it in that file. Like I said, this will be shared. This running nodes will be shared. You can download it from node section of this recording. Remaining all stays same. I'm giving the database name, user, password. Now, if I run this Python, before it did, I, I was displaying actually a debug message. Now, if you see the success, create table, that means it successfully created the tab one table. Now let's go back to the backend database and see whether the table got created or not. Now we already have database running in another terminal. This is a background white, right? Now I'll go here and connect to the PSQL database. Looks like this is getting uh, Let me open a duplicate session. PSQL is interface if I log in. If I connect to test db1 database, if I say display tables, you see, I see the tab one table here. This tab one table is created through the shell, through the Python script that we executed here. If I describe this table, it should have only one column. Now let me try to run the script one more time. If you are trying to create the table again, it should throw an error. You see, that's what the error is. Relation tab one already exists. Now let me log into create table and this time create a different table here. Let's see if it creates the table. This time, if you have observed, I'm creating a tab two with two columns. Now let me run the Python script. This time it's a success. Now when you come back here and search for the tables, you should see the table two here. So if I go back to my steps here, we, we covered step one where you are able to launch, uh, I'm, I'm able to launch the Postgres SQL DB instance. Now step two is complete too. We are able to talk to each other. And of course, step three is also complete. When client is able to create a table, we went to the backend database server and we are successfully we are able to successfully display that backend table. With that, uh, it actually completes the agenda for this presentation. With that, I would conclude this presentation. Thank you for taking time to listen to this. Looking forward to talk to you in the next recording.